Keep it short and simple. Uh, something you might want to consider, something that the Japanese know that you don't. Now, I'm not going to stereotype the Japanese by saying that they know uh, their cameras and their lenses. That's a compliment, not an insult. It's not like I'm making a slur against the Japanese. I'm covered with a Japanese bodysuit, for God's sake. So, um, Rationally, you'd have to ask yourself, uh, why when you go on eBay, um, are all these incredible low-element primes coming out of Japan? Well, obviously, the Nikkor plant, the good one anyway, is located in Japan, so obviously that's the case. But you have to ask, your que <laughs> have to ask the question, why you don't see the Japanese people with their high-end Nikons uh, shooting with these uh, radical, like, two 20 millimeter to 200 millimeters, and, uh, you know, these 100mm uh, to 500mm lenses. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know Japanese, but I'm not going to mispronounce this and someone's going to correct me. I think they call those uh, Gaijin lenses. Someone's going to say, oh, you mispronounce Gaijin, or Gaijin. Uh, which means, it's kind of a derogatory insult, but it also means like an offlander, you know, a non-native, a non-Japanese person. And uh, these Gaijin lenses, these uh, Sigma 200mm to 10,000mm, I'm exaggerating, of course, and these other <laughs> radical lenses, and some of which Nikon even makes. You know, these, it doesn't matter how well the quality of construction is, uh, the people that really know stuff, you'll never see them shooting that stuff. You just won't. It's like, well, it's neat. And I do myself have a, a 28 to a 300 millimeter lens. Of course, it's heavy as hell and it telescopes out about yay far. Uh, <laughs> it's even got a lock to keep it together when it's uh, completely compact so it doesn't go thump. Um, but you got to consider this. And uh, obviously, am I stating that primes are really, really important? I mean, I am. Have zooms gotten a lot better over the decades? Well, hell yeah, they, they have. And... Uh, you know, like a, a wide-angle uh, uh, zoom lens is pretty much indispensable. I mean, it's irrefutable. It doesn't matter if you got the best glass in the world. Um, a wide zoom is incredibly important. Uh, arguably the second most important lens to have. Mid-range zoom, pretty much the same thing. I mean, the lens that's made pros the most money is 2470 2.8. You know, that's a zoom. It's not incredibly sharp. Um, but there's a characteristic and a quality of a low element count prime lens. And of course this harkens back to lenses getting worse. And lenses are getting worse. And as they try to spread the light out with ED elements and lots and lots and lots of aspherical elements, lenses are getting worse. But uh, these hardcore lenses that you see pro shooting, like the 105mm F2 DC Nikkor, the 135mm F2 DC Nikkor, um, like the 50mm uh, uh, low element old type of AI Nikon still does make some AIS lenses like the 50mm f1.2 the 180mm which is just just silk sex and sugar it is just the stinking tits the 180mm f2.8 I've got six of those insanity absolute I mean I am bat batshit insane for having six of those lenses but that lens is just the tits and uh, th those lenses have been around for ages now. And uh, really, lenses, as far as coatings, one of them, oh, nanoparticle coating and image stabilization. Well, unless you're shaking your camera, you know, lens technology really, 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 really has not improved any in the past 25 years. I mean, it has v about that much. You know, some BS features were added, which impress and woo. You know, the mental midgets of the world. It's like, ooh, this lens is a UC VRD AX VR. Oh, Jesus Christ, give me a, give me a break. Um, <laughs> so these hardcore pros where money is no object, they're shooting these low element prime lenses. You know, all these uh, 20 millimeter to 500 millimeter, I'm exaggerating, of course. These lenses that Nikon designs are designed for the Gaijin market. The offlander. <clears throat> the stupid market. <laughs> Uh, so try to gravitate towards uh, what you're seeing, the hardcore uh, glass snobs using. And uh, unfortunately there are a lot of glass snobs when it comes to Zeiss lenses. Not Voigtlander. Voigtlander is pretty unknown amongst most people. Uh, generally, I mean, they're known really well amongst the rangefinder people, but rangefinder shooters are about that much of the spectrum of the photography market. Uh, so anyway, keep that in mind and realize that uh, you know, why do you think they're shooting those low-element prime lenses? Why? 
It's like, well, he's shooting 100 millimeter, 105 millimeter Nikkor. Why doesn't he just use like a an 80 to, you know, a, you know, a, a super zoom or an ultra zoom? It's like, yeah, you don't know the reason why, but he does. So please keep that in mind. It's a philosophy of lens use that is really very important, and uh, it's the foremost thing after which is immediately so lighting, because the best lenses in the world are no damn good unless you got really really good lighting. And uh, that, of course, is the area of further, much, much further discussion for the year 2016. Okay?